Welcome to K B W. And uh, as we say on it now, since we got the shirt that reps it, we do. This is um, we are the John. The John. This yep. is the John. Everything this around us is the John. The John. Um, welcome to the John. Um, this episode twenty three. Twenty three. Twenty three. Yeah. We right. are. Little good addition. We are to go. So yeah, um, I have two belts. Have two belts. Is, these belts are heavy, man. They're all plastic. I mean, gold. This episode is scheduled for one fall. One fall. Um, you want to jump into some fantastic news that was announced today? Guys, the news is real. The uh, real is news. It's finally, after all the skepticism and the when is it going to happen? And the waiting and the waiting. And, uh, I bet you it'll fall through and it'll be stuck on Access TV. Lies. It was not happening. Your boys at AEW. True. No, not us. A KBW, your boys at ABW, ABW, ABW. I love my alphabet. Hey, Pepe, how's that ABW, good job, Pepe. Good job. Always going. AEW is. You know what's up? I'm not fan after this. AEW is. Well, it's because it keeps running his mouth stupidly. Officially, on October second. Wednesday night, they haven't named the show yet. They haven't said it's going to be Wednesday Night Dynamite, although we talked about that yeah. a couple weeks ago. Or a few Dynamite. weeks ago. That's what I'm saying. That, that, that's that, that, that's the, the patent they put in for. But it will be October 2nd. In, in the... Uh, 7.30 yeah, is yeah. the start time. No, 8.30. Well, eight, 7.30 if you're going to the thing. Yeah, 7.30 is open. 7.30 yeah. is when the pre... I guess they'll have the pre-pre... The pre, buy-in stuff's up. 8 o'clock, first episode live October 2nd from the Capital One... Arena. Arena in Washington, Washington D.C. That is just a train way arrive for me and Peppa. And uh, and Peace uh, Calls at July 27th. It's Monday. We, this Monday coming up. I know that. Yeah, we, we might. We might have to we may put on some, ticket sales. We may put some tickets in. Because that's an easier move than Chicago for a while. Uh, definitely. And if the we first get, ever TV taping. The first ever. We can say we were a part of it. Yeah. We were there. Very cool history. Listen, people were part of the All In Revolution and the Double or Nothing Revolution. Part of the TV Revolution. I think uh, sure we can get part time. of that. October 2nd seems like a free day to me. I'm going to find to make sure it's a free day for me. Truth. Get the train down and uh, have some fun in Washington. And yeah, believed to be called Wednesday Night Dynamite. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I said. I did. I so, said it. So, Capital um, Arena. But yes, it'll be there. Capital July Arena. July 29th it goes on sale. You're right. No, 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 Sorry. I knew it was Monday. Uh, it's 29th. Good thing I get paid on Friday. So, Monday, I will have the whole check in there to make sure I can. But, like, obviously, we're not going to spend stupid money on checks because I don't get paid if on not. Monday. I have to assume Wrestling right. Town, as of Philadelphia being such a good we'll wrestling have town, one eventually. And if they're already going on the East, hopefully they start touring well, so elsewhere. Here's, here's the shock about it: all the all the pay per views so far are as West and Southwest. Yeah, so, so like they start yeah, bring us East a little bit, east. man. Yeah, maybe you know. a pay per view will come here. Maybe they'll do a pay per view here. But here's my thing: is they said they want to do around ten thousand, eight thousand. That arena, they said when WWE held it in that arena, it was sixteen thousand. I thought they said. They figured for the first show you could pull that, but I think you can pull the um the Wells Fargo, pull. and you can even if you had. Some, I guarantee right, you, you can, can some, pull. You, you can, can pull Wells seats. Fargo. If somebody can pull Wells Fargo, they can pull Wells Fargo. Yeah, we got that. But but no, they're saying like it was a sixteen to eighteen thousand dollar uh, eight thousand sixteen to eighteen thousand dollars sixteen eighteen thousand attendance is where that can hold roughly, which means they're expecting a really. Great big show because they were like, Oh, we want to stay small because the eight to ten thousand. Well, I think for you know, a rookie one, you have to go with the biggest the opening arena. show, yeah. go with they the do like an, they can do like a film, but it's and also it's, it's a lot easier to travel to, like you said, just train it every, all the way in. That's all you gotta do. So, uh, yeah, I, we might be in Maryland, guys. We, we may be in Maryland, for the first and ever you may see Dynamite. it. It will not be a uh, it will not be a raw review, it will not be a raw SmackDown review. It will be us live at AEW's first ever TV taping and. We will be doing it live. We will record live. We will mm. we will um, bring you on our journey with us if we do do it. So did you say do this? If we do do it, <laughs> you said do this. Please. This uh, is what I work with people. This is what I'm you thinking see? too, right? I, I know we're doing. Do I see. I know we're we're doing some we're doing some live brainstorming here. Yeah, we do it from the fucking parking lot. You parking lot swag it. We in the parking lot. What part? We ain't even driving. We taking a train. I ain't driving down to DC. Uh, yeah. What we gotta do is bring that <laughs> live from the darkness of the Washington D.C. parking lot. Uh, you know how many wrestling fans are there? We're gonna have like a ton of them, and we're gonna have tons. Yo, of Seth, Seth is terrified right now. He is scared after the opening his mouth way too many times. Man is just scared. So, uh, um, 
That, that, that news is obviously the listen, news of the day. Parking lot live, indoor live, mm. merch live. We just mm. walk around showing people everything that's going on down there. Listen, they want to hire us live at the same time. We can do it too. We're going to we do it, but to do it. Um, any news you got for AEW wise? Uh, AEW wise, man, that's kind of it. it. Obviously, because it's such big news. Um, I guess we do have to announce the the match that has been confirmed. At least the uh, triple threat match that. Everybody's wanted to see, and it's smart to put all out. If you're going to put all your money on the table there, and like, you let you know like, what the real pay per views are like, you're going to hit them with this match. Yes, it um, is. Darby Allen, Jimmy Havoc, and none other, the man who lost to John Moxley, who was 0 2, and he made a point to talk yes. about it. Joey, Joey Janela. Janela. Which is cool, though, man, because. Like that, that I like how he brought that up. Because they're mad. He's mad they start 0 and 2. I like, love that he brought that up. Because he knows that's up. a record. Okay? That he got this contract and he's afraid of basically of losing After the contract because he's, he, because he's 0 and 2 already. Yeah. He's not showing the company he's valuable. Like, exactly. something like that. Like, he has that thought. That's cool. Like, again, this is where I think you're really going to see um, if you guys actually saw the. Um, the promo for it, like yeah, the being the elite. That was, a, that was what being the elite. But like was the that actual, one? it's the TNT's commercials. What they're going to use for it. Well, yeah, that, that was, was being the, the elite, the elite yeah. is thing, and then mm -hmm. the TNT commercial was it's, the AEW announcement. It's so cool because it just has like that realness. You know, it had that realness to it, and like oh, yeah. the thing that just showed like, yeah, we're going to do weird stuff. They showed the blood. They showed the blood from the pay per view, which means. That TNT is going to allow some blood. Blood. Um, and they may not be often. Is that the result like, in TNT? No, but you don't need to be still. every every if every damn Wednesday night. I don't someone's know. bleeding. Yeah, you, no. You're, it's not ECW. It's guys, not so excessive. It's not I don't. Excessive. So by, I mean, if it's if it's meant to be, like if there's a match that needs it, meant to be. they're going to allow it to be. Oh, that's yeah. good. You're not going to like because I've never understood like you know how they speak of logic logic gaps. Like that's the biggest thing about WWE right now is people say. They can't get lost in it because there's too many logic gaps. Oh, okay. no How can you go into a no hold barred, you know, yeah. uh, false count anywhere match and none of you has come out with a cut? You're hitting each other with foreign objects. Something has but to it, bleed. Yeah, you get punched and you bleed. Right. Like something has to bleed. You got hit with this, that, and a third. Yeah, it kind of seems like you on the, on, on the ground. Like, like nothing. Anything. You have to. I hate hardcore matches. Or like you know how they name it after whatever town they're in, like yeah. a Toronto street match. Okay, now so you you fought all through the arena and you guys You're found out way because there's zero blood. I'm like, pretty sure I can make someone bloody just by throwing yeah, them up the ground. Like, that's the stuff that you need. You just trip on the ground. The I street, understand like you get in the blood. ring if like you Still. should be bleeding every damn match. No, no, I don't want. I don't, I don't need the excessive bleeding. Like that's not what it's about. I no. want to see good fighting. But like you get hit with a a kendo stick in your back and it breaks. I feel like kendo stick to scratch you up a little bit. Yeah, but um, I'm saying, just. So, there. I mean, but yeah, it, it's exciting news, obviously, and um, I'm more than excited about this stuff. Uh, so, AEW, big, 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 uh, all out. Obviously, it's, it's all about all out right yeah, now. Yeah, Chicago, baby, um, coming that's gonna, up. That's going to plan a lot. So, that match has been confirmed. Uh, so, we still have, obviously, many weeks for them to set up. Oh, Lucha Brothers match, on. I was just confirmed. Lucha Brothers the with match. Young Bucks for the AAA titles. Yep, Triple A titles, we'll um, what it's going for. The Dark Order against the Best Friends for yep. the first round by. Bye, yeah, that'll be there. Then um, you have, um, who am I missing? Sean Spears. Oh, uh, Sean Spears, Cody Rhodes. Cody. Uh, with his, well, we his talked his about that. That was, that, was the whole, that was the whole leakage thing that, that Khan said, and then they finally made it official. With um, his man, it was Manager Blanchard. Yeah. Uh, that's Tessa Blanchard's so dad. Weird. I like, now, if you saw um, it today, though, where he... I did, I watched it today. It was really cool. I like the way he explained it. I did like it. Mm -hmm. um, it's bad. It's just, it's just odd, but I like how they're bringing it back and using it for something good. Um, who's the other one I'm thinking of? I'm missing the match. Oh, the, obviously, the one match everyone wants to see. The John Moxley... And Kenny And Kenny Omega, Omega match, as well as Hangman Page versus Chris Jericho. Um, yeah, but a lot the, of matches are set. Really? Hey. You know, I mean, so all the Elite has a match, right? Everybody in the Elite has their yep. matches locked in. Everyone so knows. now, really, what you gotta figure out is other tag matches. So you haven't had a female. The women's have not put up a match yet. You're but I'm assuming. You're getting multiple. I'm a, so my thought is, and I could be assuming wrong, and and I don't want to assume, but I'm guessing you're, you're gonna see Brandy and Awesome against Aja and Allie, possibly. I can see that as a tag. As a possible match. Tag. 
Um, um, or if not, Aja and Awesome together as a match, just in general. Or just, one them one match. just the That'd be them dope. wrestling each other. That would be a dope match. Um, try who else? Yeah, we haven't seen Smiley Kyle in a while. No, you're going to obviously um, see... Uh, maybe think... maybe Britt Baker at that concussion, she needs to redeem herself. Mm -hmm. But again, we haven't seen um, Sadie Gibbs. Yeah, there's a lot of women that they can really um, display over the like, next few weeks to kind of like push into the spotlight with, with, a, yeah. good, uh, with a good match. At all out, um, so I'm I'm interested in that. And they're announcing the women's title, so they have to do something. Yeah, that's true. Um, it could be announced by Stephanie McMahon. No, <laughs> well, I was thinking um, that'd be funny for Sable, but mm -hmm. I, I I was thinking originally I thought Trish Stratus, mm -hmm. uh, but then I saw the news we're talking about a little bit, and who's the one I thought about? I would thought would be a great. Um, I thought I still think Sable's a great one. Um, yeah, but she married to Brock. She she's married to Brock, not married to WWE. Brock. Did you Lesnar. see her on the unit reunion? No. Uh, I was hoping it was gonna be, was gonna be Kelly, Kelly honestly, but we saw her this Ooh, week. I would definitely be um, okay with that. Um, I'm trying to think who Lita. Lita would be a, Lita is a good possibility. Yeah, she's already WWE. Through yeah, through, but, she threw it through. But there's a couple um, other ones I was thinking yeah, about. That I, I just drew a blank on just now. Best one of all time. Even though she's a mess anymore. Tammy Sitch herself, Sunny. Mm. The original woman. Um, yeah, but, that's that's a possibility. So that could be cool. Uh, but um, I think all else gonna be great. Can't wait to see uh, CM It'd Punk fight somebody. <laughs> yeah, CM Punk. You know he's gonna be there. I think they have a they find I'm a way to make him make an fighting. appearance. I don't think he'll no, be no, a wrestler. I don't think he's fighting. He doesn't want to wrestle. He said he doesn't want to wrestle, but it'd be great if he does come out. He's obviously gonna be a Starcade. Three, they got him there for that. Yeah, he'll be, he'll, he'll be, be in the crowd at least. He'll be in Starcast, and um, I think if you're right there already at your hometown, right. you're gonna be. You're gonna be at least in the crowd. You're gonna be at least in the crowd. Uh, I'm trying to think who else. Oh, you know who I haven't seen yet? Brandon Cutler. I think he's gonna go to Sammy Guevara. Oh yeah, because yeah, because Sammy keeps getting keeps yeah. bugging his ass. Yeah, I like, think I think he's oh, the same as you going. He's like, oh cool man, you got your wrestling gear. Are you gonna fight tonight? And he's, yeah. Uh, MJF was killing like multiple people at that. Oh yeah, MJF. Yeah, because yeah, like, oh, see, it's like Thursday like promo, and he's like, just oh, honey, I signed play. I don't know, you guys signed your contract. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh damn, yeah, hey, this is going hard. Shit. But uh, that's all really for that. Right? I don't have much news, man. But yeah, they got they got a couple ideas that we can definitely throw out there. Um, that would be great. So then WWE, while, while I was talking about Trish Stratus, is um, they announced well, they're teasing. There's a tease from the universe itself that says. Because Trish Stratus and SummerSlam is in uh, Trish Stratus' home of Toronto, that they're thinking, and because Charlotte said on SmackDown she's done with uh, Ember Moon or whatever, so she's moving on. Thankfully, thank God, let Ember Moon and Bailey have their fight. Um, Trish Stratus may be the opponent for Charlotte in Toronto at SummerSlam, which would be dope. It would be dope. They say that she's been um, doing, she, she's uh, working out for her in ring debut or in ring return. Ring, yeah. Um, so we'll see. But it seems to be it because if you saw Charlotte's promo on SmackDown, she said, I will be at SummerSlam. Yep. How'd you leave me off? My opponent will be better than like Moon. there's two yeah. options there. If if first of all, if they didn't Stable. if they didn't sneak the Trish Stratus news, yeah, it would have been probably everybody would have been saying Sasha Banks. Oh yeah. Oh Sasha Banks would be really good. That would be a good That would have been no, but that would have been a, a um to announce the women's title at AEW. That would be that the bombshell. That would be, that's how I that's how I said Sasha that Banks. That would be the greatest bombshell of all time. I don't think Sasha Banks is going to do it, be, I don't think she's coming back. Would be young Sasha uh -huh. showing up in AEW at All Out. That's what I think she'll do. That I would blow that all out. That, that women's division would blow up right there. Oh, right there. Like, it's a good they got a division, great, like, they got a great division. Yeah, but the it same is. way with like, the men. I think they have way better women pull right Jericho and Moxie, who are two guys that WWE people know. There, it pulls that crowd in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you see Sasha, you're like, oh shit, like right. that's so you legit. have to turn around. So let's go oh, to that's Sasha. But uh, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah so match. Trish and Charlotte, that should be a good match. Um, Lacey Evans is in a Twitter feud with Alondra Blaze. Um, after well, her them, joke on Monday night. Yeah. yeah. So after she said, after Lacey made her little joke about like uh, she tweeted something about Alondra Blaze being like they're old or just old nasties or whatever. Uh, so Alondra Bray says something back to her, like, mah, 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 and uh, I don't know what it was. But then Lacey has just replied, oh, saying, Lacey quote, replied. I've never watched wrestling when I was a kid. I don't care what you accomplished. Barely know who you are. But I've got two words for you. And then it's a picture of Lacey when she was in the Army um, telling Alondra Blaze to, quote, suck it. Um, so I don't know what she's sucking. Oh, let's go back up. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, she looks so different. Yeah, that's like, well, she's probably 18. 
18 and in the uh, in the military, so that's crazy. Um, but so that's a little cool little thing going on. Um, is that all for news? That's all for news I got. All right, man. Let's let's roll into the show. The reunion. It's a raw reunion. Who oh. we introducing? It's not. I don't know if we're gonna that there. Oh, he's not gonna show up again. <laughs> Um, we won't see him until SummerSlam. So it was the Raw reunion show. It was the one that was much hyped, much talked about. Stone Cold will be here. Rick Flair. Everybody will be here. Um, Hulk Hogan. Hello, is your name's not Brock Lesnar or and The And then Rock. John Cena started off the show. Yeah. Which was a great and he pop. was a big, and he was a big, a great uh, pop. if. A lot of people thought he would not show up. Yeah, so the fact that he showed up was, was, was kind of cool. It got a great pop in his hometown-ish. Um, I probably well, his his new, he, well, he got a, he, I think he's from Boston, but like his new place that he's of residence at or something oh, yeah, like that. Obviously, right. Um then the Usos came out and did a little rap battle type of deal. He just did the Usos and then we're gonna all dance with Rikishi, um the Usos dad. And then that guy well nah. that's after I was excited you know, for that. Uh, the Usies they tried to get Usi hot out from there. Um they went back and John Cena they took pulled John Cena back saying no 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 we went back to some anomics people in Thugonomics and everyone cheered again. Um like I said it was it was some back and forth. He dropped some rhymes. He he came at them for being criminals. I'm pretty sure he did. He said that um, your mugshot looked nice or something. Yeah, like he he came at them uh, in a, in a way that no one really cared because it was kind of well to me. They got a quick ooh because like it was ooh, but it was like oh, okay. It's been a while since he was he's been there to do his thing. So well, yeah, I mean, people uh, love people seeing a 16 to... time champion right there. Right. So uh, but it was, it was that. It was a cool little segment. You get Rikishi. There's another guy. You know, and yeah. then. And then here comes the revival. But to, it, to stop a dance, which I was excited for it yeah, first for some reason. I just wanted to see it happen. I was and, ready to get it going. And then who comes out with the revival? Devon, because Bubba said, no, nah, son. So Devon shows up outside the ring with the revival, which made no sense. And Booger T comes out and do, joins the commentary. Are you saying Booger T shouldn't have showed up? I love Booger T. Yeah. But it was just weird that like, he came out for that. He was great on commentary, though. I, I did enjoy that. Uh, but then, like then Devon and Rikishi were just like yelling at each other, don't, inter don't interfere, I'll interfere, da da da, and the Usos get the win, and they're just losing to the revival at the pay per view. It made no sense. Again, WWE continues with no cohesion. They're um, not a cohesive unit now at all. Drew McIntyre lost to Cedric Alexander last week, and yeah. this week he decided to slaughter him. And I mean, <laughs> his face into the corner. Yo, oh. Rock, chill. Oh, as Michael Cole would say, hit the big doll! <laughs> It's my dog, though. The regular the big dog. It's the big dog herself. Uh, she's trying to say this is her yard. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to let her outside of the studio so that she can go piss in her yard. Yeah. All right, All right Rox, you enjoy that. Um, so while he's letting the dog out, um, yeah, oh, Drew McIntyre oh, destroyed Cedric Alexander this week because he knew he couldn't beat him. And he got massacred and threw his face off the edge of the ring, the the the. The, the hardest part of the ring, and it, it hurt watching. I don't know how Mr. Pepper thought about that. that it did drop. hurt watching. Uh, but it looked like he, I thought he died for a second. Yeah, because like the drop was kind of very awkward where like, I don't, it looked like he couldn't catch himself. Yeah, at and, all. and like, he, he went down, all you see is like that. Like that, yeah, that was it. Just yeah. like flat and down. You know, Seth has been falling all day. Seth's just staying down. This, like, this, he, this, he got drunk with, I guess, so uh, Austin. So much of this is proving why that slam crate is not free. Yeah, push leave me down now. I'm leaving down. Seth falling. Speaking of the, of the crate, we opened our pro wrestling tees. That should be up before this episode because here is the Jay White shirt that one of the shirts we got from pro wrestling crates uh, by pro wrestling tees. So check out that unboxing that we'll have up actually uh, a little bit before this. So check it out there. Yeah, um, I'm doing some double duties right here, guys. Yeah, double duty, duty and double. Um, I don't care. Viking Raiders uh, destroyed Zach. Uh, Ryder and Hawkins, Doesn't and they, their yeah. promo before that, they were like, We're gonna murder you, and they did, they murdered them. Yeah, quick murder. Roman Reigns defeated Samoa Joe after Samoa Joe talked about the Samoans, and then Roman Reigns said and something said about Samoa. you're a Samoan, but you're a disgrace to Samoans. You're just like mad that you ain't like, yeah. you ain't related to the Rock or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like right? that, something along those lines, and, and you're not the real Samoan like us, but then you know, real Samoans have to handle Then they started fighting, and he goes, We'll get back here, let's have a match. All right, oops. And then it was a match, unfortunately. Yeah. It made no sense. Uh, um, Seth was on Ms. TV. Yes. Um, and he got confronted by Paul Hate Heyman. Man. Hate man. Hate man. Hate man. Hate man. Um, and then, of course, Seth did the, uh, he counted them down. 
after he did his weird. It was a weird segment. It was weird. Seth. It was terribly weird. Seth. Seth needs a, it was terrible in this segment. Go heal. It was here. awful. It was a terrible, terrible segment all the way around for Seth. I didn't like it. He can't speak. He can't Twitter finger. It's just bands to shut up. Now between all of this, let's let's compact it real quick. You had Hogan and Jimmy Hart do a little uh, backstage promo. Yeah, brother. Then after that, you had um, uh, Mike Kanellis, right? That was that was yeah, in there. He was, he was getting yelled at by his wife. He, he was getting yelled at by his wife, but he was talking to Eve. Yes. And Eric Bischoff, who everyone went crazy for, but yes. Bischoff is still not around. And Smackdown. Bischoff said, "You should come to SmackDown. Smackdown. You two should come uh, to SmackDown." And then she belittled him. And then my favorite part of the whole thing, Ron Simmons, was Ron Simmons with the megaphone. By the way, that was loud. Everybody as was just shit. waiting. And yeah. he just said, "Damn!" Damn. And it was so loud. They saw everybody yeah. there. They yeah. were like, "Oh God!" You were there waiting for it. It was loud. Right. And I was like, "Oh, that was great." And there's something else that happened in between there. I think I feel like I am. Uh, they also had a bunch of people in the background too. Oh, yeah. oh, Alicia Fox had her fancy hat, gave it to so and so. I can't remember who it was. A hot chick. And then um, Tori Wilson. Tori Wilson was there. Appeared. Oh, and then Santino Morales showed up. Yeah, and he with, said he was. They were in. They were having. Like, they were having the innuendos of yeah. his of his penis, and then he pulled out the stock snake. Yeah. Um, and was starting to rub on them, and then Drew McIntyre walked up before that match is like legend. Hun. Walked away, which I thought was stupid. It's all stupid. If you're gonna have Drew McIntyre show up, have him destroy Santino Morales. Like just, just have him beat him up. I love right. Santino. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. like that's what you want to see. No legend no. minus one. We're gonna get to that. Let any star shine. They all outshone um, them. Plus, the, 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 but the segment everybody wanted, if Santino was coming back, was the most obvious segment of all time. It's some kind of oh, 20, I missed one by the way. He reminded a, me a twenty four seven segment that would involve Santino. And our truth that would have been great because they both been clueless it would have been yeah. fantastic it would have been literally he'd be like i want to win the 715 title yeah and then our truth be like no it's the european you're gonna be dropped in like so, so, so he brought up two things that we also missed in this whole segment so you had the hoe train come out the godfather referenced um the hoe train and then Char charlie's name, name Charlie. was charity the entire yeah. goddamn time um and he, all right he, charity. She was the boy for for the hoe train he changed her name to charity because she's part of the hoe train now yeah. so basically saying that she's a hoe yeah um the street pops, dance, though. i don't remember if the street pops popped up after this no. saying they wanted to join the party that was later they oh, oh. Multiple times. but speaking about he talked about the uh 24 7 title so 24 7 champion drake maverick started off tonight our truth started off tonight by taking it. No, no, he had it first. Our truth won it with the bed last night. Oh, no, our truth had. That's right. He had. He yeah. won it, and the Comic Con thing happened. I missed all that. So I got to that. Then um, he comes out. He's a winner. Then the wife shows up. Then he, and then he pins our truth. Maverick's a champion. Get the bags, honey, and runs away. And then after a few things later, they shove him back to the room. And he goes open his suitcase, and what do we see? Worms. It's the boogeyman. And Thinking, then, thankfully, the boogeyman's gonna win this title. For like a half a minute, I don't believe it was a title. My mind got confused. I saw the skirt, I saw like the, the room go red. You thought Bray Wyatt. I'm like, you? yo, Bray, if they've had Bray going for the 24 7 <sighs> title, I knew. And they ruined the How theme. How you gonna the boogeyman, man? Come on. But they're very good at ruining things. So what I was thought, a boogeyman. I thought a perfect way to ruin Bray. But I thought by giving boogeyman him the was gonna take that. 24 7 title. Boogeyman was gonna take it, but no, it was. Um, no, I'm gonna get that title. Who was that? That was. um. Was it Kelly Kelly got that one? No, 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 no. Kelly took off of Eric. Before Eric was Pat, was it? What's his name? Pat Patterson. Pat Patterson. Pat Patterson took it from Maverick. And then they, yeah, they sh really? yeah Pat Patterson took it from Maverick. Then from Maverick, from Pat Patterson was um, Jerry Eric. Briscoe. Jerry Briscoe, yeah. Um, and then from there was Kelly like Kelly. Kelly. And, then and then from then Kelly Kelly was um, Can Candace Michelle. Candace Michelle took it from her because he had the referee. Because who was the referee? Um, was that Eve? Decided to become referee at the end. And then, oh, and then, and then, and then um, we had a laundry blade thing. And a laundry blade with just, a bad choke it out. Yeah, this won't last very long. And I, I thought she flubbed her line. Yeah. Because I was like, who, why would you not, why are you saying I'm not going to be champion? Well, that's stupid. Yeah. And then we realized why. She, she walked out in her WWE days. Yeah, reenacting the whole to dropping the WWE it. women's but title. But then, as everyone predicted, Ted DiBiase, the million dollar man, bought the title. Because he everyone had the price. <laughs> yeah. We um, saw it coming. It was annoying, but at the same time, it was great. Yeah. And then, flash forward, we're skipping through a lot of this because this is the best part about it. Yeah. Minus one other thing. Then you jump into the limo, and he gets in, and you go, oh, someone's definitely you in there. You hear someone fighting. And boom, 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 boom. One, two, three. And Drake comes out with Walks the title. Walks out with the title. 
And then he, his, his wife's there. There's all right, let's go. And then um, Carmella, comes Carmella out. shows up, and Truth comes out and roll does secretly up. roll him up as Carmella kicks the wife or his wife and Larry after they're going to consummate the marriage away. One, two, three. Truth gets away and jumps into the limousine. And the limo tail drives on heels. He's kicking his Go, go, go. All I hear is go, all the, all I hear is going, ah, ah, ah. And by the way, Ted DiBiase is still in his limousine. They didn't point that part out. He never got out of the limousine because his limousine, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure Ted DiBiase is still floating around. There. I'm pretty sure it was a tag oh, team right he, there. He might have paid for his wife. It was wife. a tag team 24 7. He said, everybody got price. And then so, so then Trey Maverick goes, but pay me my title. And then he looks up. And it's Mella and not And Mella's his wife. standing there and he's like, my wife! Oh! So that was fantastic. Awesome. The whole segment of Toy Shop Title was the best part of it. It was also really good because he, um, you had, uh, what's her name? Is it, what the hell is her actual name? Drake's Maverick wife. Is that another Michelle or something? And like they started a fight. Look, they're two that so have a few. She, um, yeah. she actually, like, sent out an Instagram post. Well, it looked like her. They said, they fighting. help, real big. And it showed that she was still stuck in his limo with our truth. That's great. See, so, I love how they run with it. But I think they're gonna have a, uh, a Carmella and her battle. I can't remember her name right now. Yeah, I, I but could see the show. Oh. We're gonna take them all down at this point. Hey, Stone Cold's drunk. For now, um, when you watch this, you guys should have a drinking game and see which one of these falls <laughs> first. And then, like, kind of, you, you guys will get so. Drunk so we that have was that. Legs. Did um, you um? Do you want to check that real quick, by the way? So what? yeah, that's just re her recording name? this. No, you want to check? No, I mean check the the thing. Yeah, I'll check. You want to check that while we're doing that? Yeah. Um, so our first, um, as we jumped through that, you saw, you know, all the, the older people were getting their wins or whatever. Legends were going to win the title. And they should have at one point Mick Foley was going to go for it, and then he didn't. But we'll get into that. Rey Mysterio. We good, right? All right, cool. We had a, we decided to flip the camera and see how it was going to work this week. Um, then you had Rey Mysterio and Sami Zayn, and Sami Zayn was disrespecting the, the, the legend. So Rey Mysterio said, oh, no, no, no. And Rey Mysterio ended up beating Sami Zayn. So Sami Zayn still has to have a win. He's been pinned every single time. Like, number five. Every time he's been in a match. And he has been, a, he has been on Raw for like 17 weeks. And you have not We left Snow Cold down. I don't appreciate that. That's terrible. Because he's got Snow Cold. Um, then you had Seth Rollins going up against AJ Styles. And here's where I find weird. But then we find out, as Pepper pointed out, Ricochet was uh, had an infection. He's an arm infection. Um, he must have got cut. And there's an infection in his arm. So he was initially supposed to do this segment. Obviously, he was also obviously supposed to face AJ Styles. Yeah. Like, it's it, it not random. It's a lot of things gotten pushed around, and they said that's why they think that's one of the reasons why you didn't see Brock Lesnar, because Seth having to replace Ricochet in that match Changed up that. caused them to not be able to use Seth in a in some kind of a feud well, with Brock Lesnar. Well, why didn't they use somebody else? Like Finn Balor. You would, hey. The saying. Watch out, man. Um, so Seth defeats AJ via disqualification. Because you can't have Finn going against AJ. I think they're going to have him join the... He's no, because Finn's OC. taking off. But then when he comes back, and he's not doing imagine that. The OC's, OC's, OC's going to be destroyed at that point. OC break. Um, Seth Rollins defeats via disqualification. And who shows up to help Seth Rollins? Me. The Generation X. Shawn Michaels. All of them. And Hunter Harris Helsley. Then comes out the road dog. Then comes out... What well, was it? Billy Gunn, obviously, because he was there. Um, who oh, was that was funny, though. Did you see that? When they all were getting in the ring with the click and they were talking. Right? And uh, road dog was doing his thing. Yeah. And he went... At the, uh, all of a sudden, they don't know where he goes. Oh crap! We forgot Billy. Everybody, we forgot Billy. Everybody was laughing their ass off, like yeah. as they were counting the click Taking and the, and the DX, and they're like, "Count everybody! Oh, everybody here! Everybody. Oh and crap! We forgot Billy." Scott Hall came out. Mm -hmm. Um, they beat up the uh the OC, and that was that. Which is again interesting because you would think that the OC would be able to get the one up because they're supposed to be the badass team, and it didn't happen. But and then Rollin, Rollin, um. That happened. So then Mick Foley, like I said, was going to go for 27 titles. No, no, no. I'll let the younger guys get it. Although you saw Christian going for it too at one point. Yes. Um, And he stands there. And Mick Foley, I love Mick Foley, he let a, a guy get one up on him. And who was it, Peppa? Who was on Mick Foley? Bray Wyatt, the fiend. Oh, he didn't get one up on him. He, he um, got made him a claw him. Claw He made him a claw I him. liked the cool shit there. So the cool, but, but like he took the hit, which is what I loved about it. The non-nuanced move that I saw this time around was when they showed Bray initially pop out, he had his hands like this, right? Yep. And I don't I, and I guess that's um the fiend saying, Do I hurt or heal? Because he's like the hurt and yeah. heal in here. And he goes like this, 
and his one hand came down. And it was hurt. And the one that was up still was hurt. So that's when he turned around and caught him, him with the, the claw. caught him with the claw. And that was to um, the same way as people thought Austin would do with um, Kevin Owens, but they didn't. Um, well, kind of like a passing Austin of the torch. Yeah. Um, because Bray Wyatt tweeted that, that night, um, thank you, Mick Foley. Yeah. Uh, He's the only legend who lets someone get a one-up, which I love. He's like, thank you, Mick Foley, for something or other. Um, I'll, I'll look it up real quick yeah. so I don't fuck this up. But, but he basically thanked Mick Foley because Mick Foley actually did something where all the other legends just basically took a one-up. Then you had Becky Lynch and Natalya Brawl on Women of Bliss. is actually pretty it good. It was the only women's segment of the entire night that wasn't yeah. revolved around the Divas. Um, the Braun Strowman thing was stupid. That was really dumb. What did he do? He beat up a, he beat up a kid. Random dude, a jobber. They called him Randy Rowe. Oh, here we go. Dear Mick Foley, I'm sorry. But more importantly, dot, 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 thank you for giving him the claw. So now the mandible claw will be able to be used as a I secondary second. finisher now by it's Bray Wyatt because go. you see, if, if you're able Is to put it on the original. Instead of the claw? Oh, the buzzard. A buzzard. <laughs> a buzzard. You want to take a bird to the face? Um. So that was basically it. Mine's the very end. Hulk Hogan said a few words. Flair said anything, right? Did he say something? Flair said some woos. And that was about it. And then Stoko comes out drunk. Oh, look like. was he and I ever. Love, I love Stoko. He definitely was drunk. He was and firing weird I've stories. I've never hung out with Hulk Hogan before, but he was on my show, my podcast. And then we had a good, he was a great time. And then Flair, we were at the bar the other night, and we were having a great time for game. And the boogeyman was there. And I want to say said Mark Henry, but I could be wrong, because Mark Henry was cheering with a, a bottle of water. Yeah. Um, the Godfather, I'm pretty sure he said was there. With yeah, the he hose. was saying like every, Ron Simmons. Ron Simmons was there. And yeah. they were all just having a great time reminiscing. That's what we loved about it. I loved it because it was genuine at the same time. It was awesome. He had everyone come down and have a beer with them. He cracked them, smacked everybody with the beers. Great time, the way it ended. But all in all, Raw was just eh. Um, I love the legends, don't get me wrong. And I love when they, they had showed some up. Cool, they had a, but it was just like some news and notes from that, that final scene. Mm -hmm. Um. They said, one, if you noticed, um, he said, I was Scott, this camera right here. Scott Hall was not allowed in the ring during the beer celebration because he is in recovery. So he stood outside the ring. A couple of them stood outside the Mark ring. Mark Henry was in there with water. Say. But, like, he's not a recovering alcoholic, though. But Scott Hall is a huge recovering alcoholic. So it's like, hey, yeah. let's not, because if a sprinkle hits that man in the lips, he's going to suck it off the ring aprons. You know, so yeah, he can't afford yeah. him to be in there um they said also also they showed a scene um post by like that fans had captured um where stone cold gave some beers to lillian garcia the ring announcer she snapped two of them open like a real champ and as she's drinking them stone cold style stone cold then just dumps one dance on her head as she's drinking she doesn't miss a beat she has a beer literally pouring lillian on garcia, her yeah, and she's, she's still she's two beers deep just like Someone else did that too. I can't remember who it was on the like, show too. They it was poured them back. They were they were it was cool, man. See, like like they, you could tell that like you tell Austin. I don't know trash. if they still have that kind of fun now like they used to because that looked like a family who just all it has a fun, quick reunion, even yeah. with the top guy. Like the top guy in the company was just as friendly with everybody as the lowest dude in the company. Yeah, they were now, all like, pretty good. You could you could there there's wouldn't be shocked to me if you said like, oh, I saw Hurricane Helms. Out of the bar with Stone Cold Steve Austin because they like, they, like they were a brother. He was there. That's why I brought my Hurricane Helms. Where like there. where now you, I can't see you don't you're not gonna see Seth hanging out no. you know with 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 someone lower than him like they all have their little own little not, not to be like yeah, him and obviously H -Hug. clicks you know what I'm saying but like it was it's, good it's it was, much different it was good I mean, the ending was good for what it was supposed to be the middle was no one got over um, that was my problem with with Raw so then we jump over to SmackDown and there's no else. Stone Cold Stoners. I know, but I don't think he can do it anymore because it's back. Oh, he can do it. He just did it like eight months ago. I don't think he can do it because it's back. It's probably empty. Um, so Shane Man opens up the show again because Kevin Owens challenged him to a I quit match, basically. And if he loses, he quits. That was the match at SummerSlam that's going to happen. And, uh, excuse me, Shane Man made it official. So it is special stipulation where if Kevin Owens loses, he is done forever. So, and I've heard that Kevin Owens may be leaving. So it's a good possibility that he loses this match. No, he's too over now, though. I, I, I've heard he's losing. He's contracts up, or he must take high. I don't know what it was, but I've heard something about that. 
Then you had um Stop listening to people. Then you had Nakamura going up against Apollo Cruz. Yes. Good and match. A great match. And Apollo, Apollo Cruz lost this one. Mm -hmm. um, but Nakamura put on a great show instead of Apollo Cruz. It was very, very um or thoroughly thoroughly entertaining. Yeah, it was very entertaining. It was a great job. So you had Apollo Cruz get destroyed the night before, and then he goes against Nakamura with the only problem. They couldn't do anything before this, now he's doing something. Um what I love that here is where SmackDown did it right. So, so apparently um, something that happened, I don't know if whoever was on, um, Corey Graves, I think it was doing a movie. Someone else's family died. Yeah, Byron so, Saxon's Byron Saxon, uh, dad died. Dad yeah. died, rest in RIP, by the way. Um, I, didn't, I didn't mean any yeah. disrespect. So the New Day came out to, to dance on the table and then do some commentary. It was supposed to be Shawn Michaels. Well, thank God it wasn't Shawn Michaels because here's what happened next. He came out for Miss TV and talked about it. He was interrupted by Dolph Ziggler. Um, the, the the Michael the Shawn Michaels in uh, um, impersonator. Yeah, the Shawn like, impersonator. The, 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 the kicks, the kicks, the and everything. tights, the shoes. It was just it was all Shawn Michaels. Was, he is Shawn and Michaels. it was great. Yeah. And but what I loved more about it was after Miz got taken out by Dolph Ziggler because Michaels ducked. Michaels went to check on him um, because he thought he took down Dolph. Right. Dolph kicked, hit him with a super kick and took him down. And that's what I wanted to see on Raw. Was you let these guys guy get run over? Get super kick because but no, Sean doesn't want a great match. No, he just wants to let him get him over. They so talked about that too in his bad match and all that stuff. He talked about it, but it was great because SmackDown no. did it. Then right. you set up a you set up some kind of a Mizzler a Mizzler comes to his life. That's what the match would be called all together. <laughs> the Mizzler, the Miz and Ziggler, Ziggler. the Mizzler, the Mizzler match. Mizzler's um, and Twizzler. Yeah. Then you had Ember Moon and Charlotte Flair. Which was good, and I liked and here's the, little, they, they the, little, the little cool thing here about Ember, where um, Ember beat her in a couple seconds yep. because of being distracted by, by Bailey. Bailey. And then Bailey's talking crap to Charlotte. With Ember next to her, and she throws Ember, pushes Ember her in the ring. throws Bailey into the ring, who gets beat up a little bit, then she attacks Charlotte, and then attacks Bailey. I loved it. Now, that, this is what Pepper wanted to talk about last week. He wanted to see heel. This is your heel, Ember Moon, and yes. I love every second of it. Because Ember Moon I loved that. it. Her, her whole persona is like that dark thing anyway. Yeah. So you can see like that's a better heel than you would get. Like because obviously no one's even if you want to, you can't turn Bailey heel. She's so nah, freaking nah. happy. And this is great. It was great. So they turned it was a heel. That was a perfect move. It fits her persona, and I love that we're talking about. It. Then Kofi Kings came out and announced who he's fighting. And Are he we wants shocked? To fight Brandy or Tom. RKO. But I liked the reasoning. I did too. They went back to when they went back to like. You're the one who killed 2009. my push. 2009. You killed my push. It was with all your... your fault. Right. It was a great segment. I love every second. And then Randy it. came out and he didn't sugarcoat it. He said, "I did." No, he did. He flat great. out said he did. Great. After they said no, he said no. I was letting you get one up. Screw you. I was gonna be the the guy he who said, said well, no you, had the, you. you had the claw for that many years. Why was I on top for that yeah. many years? And I love so it. So I thoroughly enjoyed that. I love um, every second. Smackdown, literally to this point, and for the rest of it, it's. If, if Bischoff's not doing it yet, I don't know. But I don't um, know who is because SmackDown really just good. turned up a notch. Really good. Um, so you want to talk about this part? Because I know you love this part. So Finn comes out. I've seen the devil, and I will take the challenge. But you could tell that Finn was shook a little bit. Okay, he he was a little shook by this version of Bray Wyatt. Mm -hmm. Okay, you could tell that it was like, all right, I mean, I get it's Bray, but like. So I'm off about this cat, and well, well so the, it's getting that right. after he announced it, after he challenged him, the Firefly Funhouse started, which was so cool, by the way, because all of a sudden, as he's he's talking and he says that he challenged him to a match, yeah, and you're sitting there like how? Because I was interested to see how they were going to break his second personality in, like yeah. how are you going to get the nice guy to turn in? Like, are you just going to show up in the ring, like, and just be like, oh hey, what? what? I thought it was cool shit that all of a sudden, like, because that's like out. nuts when all of a sudden you hear, and you're like, oh, Firefly Funhouse. Yeah. So he's going to run these promos out of the Funhouse, yep. which I think is freaking brilliant. And it's great. I as like as how he it talks up, about great. the fiend is like, he's yeah. not a man. He's yeah. just like, but originally yeah. I was like, I have no problem. I have the some fiend great does. news with you. Yeah. The fiend has accepted your match. Yay! Like, I it like was, that. It was like, fantastic. It was another great, bright. yeah, another great segment. So you're gonna get the Fiend's first match, and they said nothing about, well, so far anyway. Finn's probably last match about Finn bringing out the demon. I don't Not think yet. he does. Not I yet. I think what happens is 
I honestly think he's taking his eyes. He's going to wipe like. him off the map. Okay, right now, yeah, you're gonna see Bray. The Fiend is gonna this have may to be in, a 20 second match. He's going to, but I think he's gonna like annihilate him. So I, I'll give a couple minutes. But it's like it's gonna like you're it's gonna, gonna be a quick one. Gonna beat him like way. they might beat him to the point of like ambulance. You know how like they have to pull the ambulance. Yeah, up? I think like that, and you're not gonna see him. So he's going to hiatus. Keep him off. And then, like, so the fiend will just be running rampant through the WWE. At least this is what I would plan as a storyline. If they too. steal it, I'll punch you in the face. Eric Bischoff um, is smart, though. So, so I, I can see them, like, just tearing him, just literally yep. haunting. And they don't know how do we beat the fiend. And in a couple months, the demon pops up out of nowhere. Okay? After then he's gone. to beat up the fiend. And then you'll have that epic match the fiend, the of demon. the fiend versus the demon. Exactly. They finally get, like, a real like heavyweight be battle between like the two crazy. personas so that would be what i would do that's what my man disrespectful would do yeah we really we've been talking that about this one. is we, john approved um this is what we're telling you fish off is what you need to go with um but as long as you want to go down that path yeah uh then it was the final part we're gonna go through quick kevin owens versus roman reigns with special guest referee being me roman reigns or not no, roman, no, um, it was McIntyre. Referee with mcintyre Green Bell was Elias. Was Elias, and then Shane was on the side. <laughs> and then it said that they they exchanged a little, you know, um, grappling moves and they looked at each other. And and after Roman spear, uh, Roman, uh, I keep saying Roman, uh, Drew separated him. He got speared. Yep. And they all basically got destroyed. And then just and, got stun, and, and, Shane, and Shane got stunned twice. It was fantastic because yep. Shane got stunned twice, not yeah. once but twice. He went to ooh Yep. Stun stun. It was great. It was fantastic. That's all I have here. On on KBW, do you have anything else to add to KBW, the John SmackDown? No, I'm going to just say SmackDown was really good. It was. Um, it was Raw, definitely way better. Than I Raw. get what they had to do, but it was. It, I just, it was they weird. needed to get more guys over. It was weird. You've seen it wasn't going to do it because he's the guy you never gets anybody over. No, but, but I would expect weird, maybe DX to take the hit. Um, although I, I don't think Nash and Hall could take the hit right now. They, they literally can't. Um, yeah. but like. I think the more just Mick Foley. Mick, and Mick Foley knew what was going to take the Sister Abigail because he's too injured, so that's why he got the Mandible Claw, which then he gave. So that was great. That part was great. That was about it. Um, you want to bid them? Let's bid them a do, man. All right. Uh, so here at KBW, we like to bid you adieu. Goodbye. Mwah. And good night, bang.